Welcome to InLab, I'm Nisha, your leader on this maker journey, and I'm once again joined by my colleague, Erica. Hello. In this episode, we'll be building a 3D model of a ring blade inspired by the character Nakia in the upcoming film, Black Panther. Nakia, the proudest member of the Dora Milaje and also his fiercest warrior, not only fights to protect Wakanda, but also her king, King T'Challa or the Black Panther. Ready to get started, Erica? Sure. So to design Nakia's ring blades, we're going to be using Tinkercad. If you look at the design of Nakia's ring blades, you'll notice that it's made with basic shapes, one being the tube and the round roof for the grips. We'll start by bringing in the tube into the work plane. We'll adjust the size and change the color. Once we're done with that, we'll bring in the round roof, adjust the size, rotate it, and bring it towards one corner of the tube. This will serve as our grip. After that, we're going to bring in some cylinders to create some features where we'll put some LEDs. We'll turn those cylinders into holes, group it, and then once you're done with that, we can export that to be laser cut. Awesome, I can't wait to see how this turns out. to get ready to shoot this interview, right? I hope this is gonna be worth it. I need to make sure these combs look good. How you doing over there, Erica? You two look like you're having fun. Yes, we are, because we're building marvelous things here. Thank you, Joel, so much for coming down to MLab and sharing a little bit about your maker journey. I would say before we get started, you may notice that you have a doll before you. Yeah. <laughs> when we're asking people questions, we feel like you should also be making something. Your task is gonna be to actually create a unique style on the doll while I ask you a couple questions. Would that be okay? I am not a hairstylist, but I'll see what I can do. So my first question, old Twitter style and 140 characters or less, how would you describe your work? I make Afrofuturistic styling combs like these. Okay. Laser cut out of um, exotic hardwoods. What was your inspiration to actually get started with the combs? Um, the inspiration, honestly, was that I wanted a product. Um, my uncle had just passed and I'd cut off my dreadlocks and um, I wanted to find a comb that I could just use in general and I found that I couldn't find one made in the way I wanted and made in places I wanted. So I literally just decided, and I've already been making things, and I decided, I'll just make it. <laughs> and that's pretty much what happened. And the reason we're doing the series is to film Black Panther, which I also feel in that vein, celebrates the wide range of maker activities. And as a blurred or a black nerd, mm -hmm. I've been waiting on this movie for a very long time. Your whole life? <laughs> yes, pretty much my whole life. Uh -huh. What is your hope for the film in terms of its impact on makers? Yeah, well, you know, we've always, like, you know, learning about the Super Soaker or um, <laughs> all the video games that were made, it's, it's, our participation hasn't been noticed, but it's always been there. Yeah. And I think this will be inspiring to a lot of people and give them an idea that, yes, we can do that. Mm -hmm. And it helps to have that representation, to have someone see you do it. Let's see where we are so far on the dolls. I feel like I'm 75% done with a uh -huh. little hairstyle. Well, you got yeah. something going. Yeah, but you know, I'm not a hairstylist. I well, make combs, I don't make hairstyles. <laughs> well, I'm just saying that your combs are actually doing a wonderful job on my doll. Thank you. Thank you so much, Joel, for allowing me to have a little bit of fun, sure. ask you a couple questions on your maker journey, mm -hmm. and bond over that which is hair. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.